the voice signal that we're seeing on the oscilloscope right now is really an AC signal. And, but pressure is actually DC. Like the atmospheric pressure needs to be summed to the uh, acoustic signal pressure that we're seeing here in order to make a complete signal. But if we're just looking at speech, we could ignore that pressure signal, like that constant atmospheric pressure signal. So signals that have both a constant value and also like a, a time varying thing are uh, commonplace. And usually what we have is a constant superimposed upon a waveform or something. An example, say if we wanted to measure a constant signal, I could switch over to channel two, turn my channel two on my scope. I have this battery right here. It's nominally a 1.5 volt battery. If I connect the scope probe across it, yeah, we'll see the signal, the green signal goes up to about 1.1 volts-ish. So this battery is kind of dead, and I know that because I took it out of something. But it's constant for time, like see it's not changing at all. And it's possible for a constant to be, or a, sig a sinusoid to be superimposed on a constant or vice versa. So one thing I could do with my amplifier for my microphone is I can actually put a DC offset on it. And you can see I did that right here. Just put a one volt offset on there. Actually, it's not one volt. The scale is 20 millivolts. So I put a 40 millivolt offset on there. And, you know, the voice is superimposed upon that. You know, I could make it go negative. So real world signals often will have this AC and DC component. So it's important to realize that. So always look at the reference or the baseline, you know, to ascertain that. Don't just look at the you know, the peak-to-peak -peak values or the amplitude of the waveform.